Listen up, club members. It's time for the Red Acre Recap. Here with the goss so you're not at a loss. Here's what happened this week. Grandmother and the Grudge Queen are finally teaming up. Looks like enough club members filled up Seed the Grudge's inbox, and now Weka will be Plant Mom's herald and weapon. Granny certainly has a few tricks up her sleeve. During an encounter, she unsuppressed a club member after a bit of misadventure. It seems like she's finding more and more ways to dodge Stinka's one's tricks against us. Grandmother also had some news to share with us, so let's dive into what we learned this week. Wicca provided us some more info on Graham Culver. It seems that she and the other Watchers no longer have the memory of what he did to warrant such an end. That being said, Wicca remembers what they acquired after his death. They took his small boat and climbing gear and completely destroyed it. Grandmother doesn't usually tell us what she can do, but this time she made an exception. Apparently, she can make a lucid forget one of us or make them hear false sounds near us. She can't outright control a lucid, no watcher knows that trick yet, but the other tricks are still pretty neat. This next one isn't a particularly comforting update, but Weka informed the club members that Devon is currently being hunted. She didn't give any details, but she's got a trap of her own for their pursuer. She makes no guarantees that they'll live, either. Not really helping. Gwen did pitch in on the search for Devon. She went over to Devon's house to see if there were any clues there, and found that both Devon and Kiara had not been back for several nights. What is going on? Regarding the voices, there's certainly a lot going on right now. V.I. Adair shared his concern that, amidst this war, In Her Teeth may have run out of patience. He explains that she is the most distant from the Pact while not being openly hostile, but her agenda is lethal towards the voices. That's everything for new info this week. Here's a few things that we still want to learn. Info about Devon's well-being and whereabouts is still scarce. HQ is requesting that if anyone hears about Devon or Kiara, they should report back to them ASAP. Grandmother certainly has something cooked up for Devon's pursuer. The question is, what though? And will Devon come out of it safe? Or alive? Okay, anybody got an update from Laugh Lass? What's taking him so damn long to communicate with the Pact? He's stuck in traffic or something? Alright club members, that's what you need to know for this week's Red Acre Recap. Stay safe, stay smart, stay awake. Over and out. <laughs>